Welcome to Liberty Land. I'm Marty. I'm Zach. I'm Katie. And today we have a whole host of topics to talk about. We're going to be talking about Afghanistan, the Olympics, the California recall election, crypto, and OnlyFans. Let's get cracking. For anybody who has the internet, you've probably heard about the perfect execution of getting all of our troops out of Afghanistan. And by perfect, I mean an absolute shit show <laughs> that has been just created by Biden once again. So thank you, President Biden, for making sure that everybody's safe and we brought all of our equipment back with us. But wait. <laughs> He didn't grab the equipment. Oh, oh, you mean like the multi-billion dollars of equipment, artillery, guns, planes, tanks, Humvees, helicopters, and everything else that we just left over there that I'm sure the Taliban won't touch because they understand that it's our property and we'll be back for it one day? Hey, that's my tax dollars. They better not yeah. touch it. Yeah. I want my Apache. And I want my <laughs> Apache now. $2.7 billion for one Apache. I've looked it up. Not because I want to buy one, because I need to buy one. However, now someone over in Afghanistan is flying my Apache and probably crashing it, because as we all know, <clears throat> the Taliban flight school doesn't cover landing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that was good. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Get our shit back. <laughs> That's my money. Yeah. You're um, stealing my money to give it to somebody else. Where's yeah, my Robin Hood? Yeah, so, um, I mean, as far as I'm concerned at this point, with everybody talking about mandatory gun buybacks and everything, um, for anyone who has ever purchased a gun, you have to fill out a bunch of uh, bunch of paperwork, uh, Form uh, 4473s, I believe it is. I never really look at the top of it. I just fill it out and buy it. I don't read. But uh, in there, you know, there's there's a lot of topics covering if you've ever, you know, done anything legal, as in you know, selling arms to people who don't have the proper paperwork. And the last time I checked, Afghanistan Taliban agents didn't have the proper paperwork. So as far as I'm concerned, with all the mandatory gun buybacks, the government's not allowed to own guns either. Mm. They can't actually check off that box. It checks out. So they're worse, they're worse than actual probably felons in Chicago and New York and California and everywhere else where you know, you have a lot of background checks because background checks are already a thing. And we have to go through them every time we buy a gun. Even though we don't need to. All gun laws are gun infringement. Yep. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, if anybody wants to comment down below uh, about how much of an absolute shit show this has been, I'd love to read more. Uh, and if anybody... Oh! If you're military, uh, please also jump down in the comments and let us know uh, what, what you guys have seen over there. And also, if you're military um, or know somebody in the military, please reach out to them. Um, because I'm sure that with all this stuff happening right now, um, watching what they've worked for the last 20 years just go away in an absolute shit show and something that they believed in, you know, creating a safe area, um, just giving away like that. Um, give them a call. Give, give your friends a call. So they could probably use it. Check in on your military friends. Always. Always. And if for whatever reason we have all this information mixed up and we sound like a bunch of idiots, let us know. Unless you have no idea what you're talking about. Shut your mouth. Please, shut your mouth. Or, also, or we'll roast you in the comments. <laughs> we'll roast you in the comments. And that brings us to our very first sponsor. Thank you very much to Afterlife Electronic Graveyard. And now, a brief commercial. Hey Katie, have you brought that up on the computers yet? Martin, these computers are a piece of shit. Can we just get rid of them already? Yeah, cool Katie. Where are we gonna bring them? We got nowhere to go. Why don't we just go to Afterlife Electronics Graveyard? It's right at 915 John Avenue in Superior. Katie, where do you even get that shirt? Wait. Oh, nice shirt, dude. Let's well go check them out. You guys take laptops? Yeah, we take it for free to get Excellent. Woo! Come on, my <laughs> <laughs> No problem. Hey, sir. There you have it, 
Afterlife Electronics Graveyard at 915 John Avenue. Stay free. It feels good to have a commercial. Yeah, right? We're cool. Hell yeah! <laughs> In Olympic news, 2021 Olympics are over. Uh, United States won. USA! 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 Woo! With 39 gold medals. China, or as has formerly been known by John Cena, West Taiwan, is now unofficially trying to claim Hong Kong and Taiwan also now known as the Chinese Taipei, into their gold medal counts, which would put them over the United States. It has not gone through. It is an unofficial change, and they're probably just salty that we're better than them. So be better. You're not first, you're last. Ricky you Bobby. <laughs> Second place is just the first loser, China. And now, Katie tries. And now the part of the episode we all wait for and love the uh, part where Martin makes me try some gross shit that I never like. And today we have, ooh, this one looks fun. It's called Mamita's Tequila and Soda. I'm really excited for this one. Big shout out to Laura for finding these for me. I love tequila. <laughs> um, this is, a, I think this is a flavor, Paloma. Is that a flavor? I think so. <laughs> is that a I don't know, you're country? Mexican. What is it? Is Paloma, Paloma flavor? I think it's a fruit. Okay. Hold up. We're going to figure out what Paloma is real quick. Uh, while we're finding that out, this is 5% alcohol by volume and 0.9 grams of sugar and 1.8 grams carb. So. How do you spell it? P-A-L-O-M-A. P-A-L-O-M-A. I knew a girl named Paloma once. That's why I'm confused. Really? Oh, apparently it's a cocktail. <clears throat> okay. Oh, so yeah. Uh, okay. Paloma flavored mamitas. All right. Well, let's give it a rip. Let's give it a rip. You good there? No. Do you need help? <laughs> no. Let's give it a... Do you, you got it? <laughs> I'm keeping all this in here. Uh, Why would you do it? Oh, oh, God, that was like nails on chalkboard. Let's give it a rip. <laughs> it smells like a margarita. I'm so excited. So I looked it up. Uh, how to make a Paloma is it is a tequila-based cocktail with lime juice and grapefruit juice. That's what I'm tasting. I'm tasting yeah. grapefruit in there. It kind of tastes like, you know when you have chips and salsa with a margarita? For some reason, it tastes like the burp afterwards, but adding grapefruit. I kind of want to try that because I love chips and salsa and a, and a, a nice marg of Rita, if you will. What is that? that I'm like, yeah, definitely grapefruity. I'd say grapefruit grapefruit over the other flavors, but I like it. I love it. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to give this a 30 out 6 because I'm still, I'm just a White Claw girl. If I'm going to pick something, I'm picking a White Claw, but I would definitely drink these all night long. What's the alcohol content? I already said 5%. 5%. Well, that's on par with a White Claw. I know, but White Claws, I, they just go down so smooth. That's like water to me now. <laughs> Uh. Burp scale, five, five, six also. <laughs> also, if you guys have any other suggestions on what you want me to try or even just anything for these videos, we do now have a Discord for Liberty Land. Uh, it's literally just called Liberty Land, all one word. There's a bunch of different topics on there. General, table talk, backyard bushcraft. Join us on there and talk to us. We're on there like every day. So we're going to have some fun. Link in the description below. Next up in super exciting world news... And by world news, I just mean California, because they think they're the world. Uh, they're having a recall election. Thank God. So uh, Newsom has gone up for recall. And the way that the election works out as far as your recall election goes, for those of you who don't know, um, everyone goes in September 14th. If you're watching California, don't miss it. Um, they will have a ballot. 
And on the ballot, you will have the should Newsom be recalled or should he not be recalled. If more than 50% uh, of the voters vote he should not be recalled, he'll stay in office. If more than 50 vote yes, they will then also get the option to vote for who they want to vote for. Now, in this election, for the recall election, if more than 50% of the people vote yes, he should be recalled. There is nine Democrats running, 24 Republicans, <laughs> and four, how many? 46 total? I think uh, over I 40, four, over 40 total yeah. uh, people actually yeah. running. Um, now, the Republicans this time have really doubled down and uh, play their cards right. Because everyone knows how woke California likes to be. They love it. They thrive on it. So this time, uh, under the Republican ticket, we not only have Larry Elder, a black and conservative talk show host, and we have Caitlyn Jenner. Everyone knows who Caitlyn is. Yeah. They're both running under the Republican ticket. In the hopes of... If California is really as woke as they say that they are, they will not be voting for Democrats this year. If they do, in fact, vote for the multiple old white dudes in the Democrat ticket, um, well, we all know what woke means, and I think that means we get to make fun of California even more than we already do. Don't vote for old white people anyways. They don't give a fuck about you. Vote for whoever you think is right. And they'll give you all your rights back. And they'll let you be a free American. And we'll stop te- stealing all of your tax money. And stop leaving shit in Afghanistan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we don't try and always get overly political, but we thought we'd cover the election here because it was it's just too funny. I love the fact that we have uh, this much going on with California, and it's going to blow up in California's face. And I'm so excited to just watch it happen. That didn't get overly political. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I tried not to. I tried not to. I fucking tried. Democrats are diddlers. <laughs> uh, government officials are diddlers. Because they can get away with it. Because the fucking elites that run this country. Billions are di- billionaires are diddlers. That's not Elon true. Musk is not a diddler. Elon Musk is a good guy. Don't you ever talk back. Political Californian billionaires are That's, diddlers. No, fuck, Bezos is probably a fucking diddler. He probably, he, no, he probably he diddles people. Bezos. He probably fucking diddles people, and then he like traps them in his fucking factories to work for him for the rest of his no, life. No, see, here's the thing. I, I don't think Bezos is also a diddler. I think he just makes robots to diddle. <laughs> I'm so rich. Yeah. I'm so rich. I'm oh, like a robot. super sunker three thousand. <laughs> yes, just like that. <laughs> you said super sucker, and I got really excited for super soakers because I'm a kid at heart. <laughs> so we have another subscription box. Now, before we even get into this one, uh, let us know how you like the subscription box portion of the episodes, because we're, we're kicking around a few different ideas of something else to put in uh, instead of subscription boxes that this isn't, this isn't hitting right, or you guys you know just don't want to watch it or whatever. Let us know, um, and we can definitely change it, uh, but if you guys are enjoying us, also let us know so we can, uh, we can continue doing it. We're here for the people. Bespoke post box. <laughs> Katie. Uh, all right. So let's see if it has what we got on here. Uh, all right. So we have we have the grounds kit. Grounds kit, like coffee grounds. Ah, uh, not coffee. Not coffee. I was excited. So essential backwoods survival tips, survival one hundred and one. It has a few things here: uh, how to baton wood with a knife, uh, water jug lantern hack. Uh, and uh, how to hang a bear bag. So in this box, we've got a camp carabiner uh, to hold your gear. It's kind of cool. Looks like you just basically put on a piece of paracord. You won't. You don't even need to tie it. You just flip it, and it locks itself in place on your paracord. It's pretty nifty. Oh, that's reusable nice. zip ties. I love these. What? I yeah. didn't know that was a thing. Reusable zip ties. That's I awesome. have used these before. They're fucking amazing. Uh, we have a sog knife. Saug. Very nice knife. Very sharp. And I do like when you put it back into the sheath here. Also, you got a little rope cutter. You can 
cut your twine and whatever else. And if I remember right, that's right. The V seat. So this is a camp seat, so like you don't need to sit on the ground or like hard stomp. I'm gonna see if I can do it with one breath. Impressive. Oh, yeah, you did it in one breath. There you go. Uh, yeah, so then you have a nice seat to sit on at camp. So That's it on? Um, That's right. Yeah, sure. Pop me up, seat daddy. There you go. That's nice. Well, you can I'm sit on that for the rest of the episode then. I'll sit on that for the yeah. That's actually, <laughs> it's actually really comfortable. Um, I think you'd also use a kind of like a pillow. I would assume in like situations uh, yeah. if you if you don't have a pillow with you or whatever. So yeah. So yeah, that's what we got in this uh, this month's bespoke post box. It is the grounds kit. Very nice. I like this knife. Go in my box of knives in my bedroom. You have a box of knives? Yeah, that checks out. I have, I have a lot of knives. You never really know which one's to, you know, you never know which one's gonna look better with what outfit. So just get options. Have to get a knife to match your belt and shoes. Right, you do. So I got brown knives, black knives, blue knives, green knives. You don't know what you want to wear. Is it a purple knife? I do not have a purple knife yet. But he also doesn't have purple That's, shoes. That's, yeah, I also do not have purple shoes. Why not? Get purple shoes. We'll go hit up Vlados. I want to get a purple shoe. See what happens. Yeah. Me again. For crypto news this week, not much other than hot dogs. Ah! Uh, someone bought a $15,001 package of hot dogs, uh, Doge coin themed off of eBay from the Oscar Mayer Wiener Cherry Auction. That's all I got for you. Cryptos. Same. You know, I don't know. Nothing about crypto. Hot dogs. For my ones. other lovely news, the world's kind of been gro- going crazy right now about OnlyFans banning sexual content. Um, seeing that that's like 90%, I'm just guessing, of their content on OnlyFans, everyone's like, what the heck's going on? All of the creators are like, what the heck's going on? Trying to switch all their t- shit to different platforms. Turns out just today, I got an email from OnlyFans, and as of today, August 25th, they have revoked that. The main reason they had put that ban in place was because their banking partners were unsure about uh, just having sexual content on there, but now the banking partners are saying that they want to keep OnlyFans a platform for all genres of creators, and so that's going to be awesome. It's back to normal. No need to be in a panic. OnlyFans is back up to what it should have been. Uh, and how it is. So support your local slut. Woo! We love them. That's we it. love sluts on this channel. We do. We love them. Support them. You support small business, support oh, small right. business porn. All right. Is, watch, that, is that everything we have? Yeah. Watch Jingle All the Way. It's a great film. Watch Dead Girl. It's a good film. Yeah. Watch Dead Girl if you like weird zombie shit. We were just talking about that before the episode. 2008 horror film. Check it out. It's a good movie. It's not a good movie. It's, it's like B list. I'm pretty sure. Is it as good as Thanks Killing? I've never watched Thanks Killing, but there's boobs in the first 45 seconds. We've timed it. I don't think there's boobs in the first 45 seconds. There, there is no in Dead Girl. Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's probably boobs somewhere. Probably. There's definitely. There's always B list movies. They, that's like that's the only. That's gonna be boobs. That's gonna be boobs at some point. There's somebody who shits their guts out in the middle of the movie. So I mean, if that's your thing, like literally their guts. That's all we've got for you today on this episode of Table Talk. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share. Make sure to ring the bell so you get notifications when our episodes come out. Also, if you watch these videos regularly and you think that you're subscribed, please make sure to double check that you are still subscribed. We've had a few people now that think that they are actually subscribed and they click on it and they no longer are. Including Um, me. Yeah, yeah. So if it kicks you off, make sure to jump back on there and resubscribe to us. Um, I'm not quite sure what we did to make YouTube mad already, but we did, somehow. We're free people. That's probably what it is. Probably. They don't like free thinkers. So, just please make sure to double check that you guys are, in fact, subscribed. Uh, it helps out us out uh, a ton um, on getting our videos out there and having more people watch them. And we're here for the people. So, until next time, stay free. Stay free.